People love a good story, but what if they're not true? Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 scariest food urban legends. For this list, we're looking at various urban legends surrounding food that have either become common belief or that made national headlines. Number 10. Chewing gum stays in your stomach. Don't swallow chewing gum or it'll stay in your stomach for seven years. You undoubtedly heard this old wives' tale as a child, and maybe it's stuck with you ever since. I wouldn't do that. I really wouldn't. So long as it's gum, then that's for me. Buy it, now don't you do anything stupid. Well, you can shed that mental burden because this urban legend is 100% false. Yes, many of the ingredients are technically indigestible, which means your body cannot break down the components. This gum had you no flavor. If you don't like it, just spit it out. Spit it out, don't, we wouldn't be insulted if you just spit it out. But that's not the same as the wad of chewed gum will physically sit inside of your stomach for seven years. It comes out just like any other food stuff, so if you accidentally swallow that piece, there's no need to get worked up about it. You do believe me, don't you, Dad? Number 9. Flesh-eating bananas from Costa Rica Back in the dark ages of the internet, also known as late 1999 and early 2000, an email from the so-called Mannheim Research Institute warned of imported Costa Rican bananas that were infected with a bacteria called necrotizing fasciitis. Banana? Uh, Stuart? Macarena? Uh, banana? Banana! This is a grisly flesh-eating disease that essentially eats away at the body's soft tissue. What happened to Phil? Necrotizing fasciitis? Caused by an invasive streptococcus? What? Flesh-eating disorder. Apparently, the disease had grafted itself to the banana peels, and 15,000 Americans were expected to become infected. Of course, this was nothing more than a malicious internet hoax, which was updated in 2011 with bananas of African origin. And the story was filled to the brim with scientific and biological inaccuracies. All right, everyone, quick! Here you go! What's this? You all need to eat your banana immediately! What the hell for? Eat the banana! We have to put you down! Number 8. Tapeworm in Welch's Rough day? Everyone has rough days. Do you believe everything you read on Facebook? Back in September 2018, a Facebook user named Courtney Sassanak claimed to find a tapeworm inside a Welch's fruit snack. Welch's responded to the viral post, explaining that the tapeworm was likely nothing more than excess product drizzled on the exterior. We've had this conversation. She was given B12. She didn't get better. Because someone else ate it. Sassanak apparently went to her local doctor's lab and had the snack tested. And they deduced it was indeed a dehydrated tapeworm. And determined that you have a tapeworm. A tapeworm? Como se ve? Tape. Ah. Tapeworm. What? She also allegedly sent the snack to Welch's for inspection as per their request. However, Welch's parent company stated that they had never received the snack, nor had they received documentation proving that a lab test had occurred, meaning this claim is still currently unproven. Number 7. Biscuit Induced Coma Back in June 2013, you may have heard about food writer Kevin Shalin, also known as the Mighty Rib. The story goes that Shaylin was trying to beat a restaurant record by eating hundreds of Cheddar Bay biscuits from Red Lobster. After eating 413 biscuits, Shaylin started convulsing and slipped into a butter-induced coma. Apparently, the butter had, quote, blocked signals coming from Shaylin's brain, and doctors were forced to drain two gallons of butter from Shaylin's body. The story originated on the satirical website Rock City Times, but was picked up and circulated as real news by the likes of the Daily Mirror and Canada's The Globe and Mail. Yeah. These publications actually fell for a satirical news article. This is a Cheddar Bay Biscuit Toast. You gotta go like this. One, two, three. Psh. Number six, the Wendy's Finger. Chili? Chili? You look downright cold. You know a bowl of chili? Yes! Let me get my boots, we'll go to Wendy's. Back in 2005, a woman by the name of Anna Ayala allegedly found a severed human finger in her bowl of Wendy's chili and subsequently filed a lawsuit. At first, I wasn't sure what it was. And uh, as we started investigating, poking it, other people too, that's when we find that there's something that looks like a nail. This story was everywhere, and the allegations cost Wendy's over $21 million in lost revenue and lots of public goodwill. An investigation was quickly launched by the Santa Clara County Medical Examiner's Office, who deduced that the severed finger did not come from a Wendy's restaurant or its supplier. Her story became suspicious when no one associated with the fast food chain was missing a digit, and then when Ayala dropped her plans to sue the fast food chain. It was later discovered that the finger had belonged to a friend of Ayala's husband who had lost it in a work accident. 
Ayala was sentenced to nine years in state prison, and her husband was sentenced to 12 for supplying the finger. Number 5. Poisoned Halloween Candy You've undoubtedly heard stories of psychos poisoning Halloween candy, and so have your parents. But according to most sources, reports of genuine Halloween poisonings are hard to come by. Sounds like something a stranger would say. Well, I say it too. <laughs> In fact, there have been zero confirmed cases of children dying to this day. At least, not from random strangers. There have been reports of children being poisoned by Halloween candy or injured by sharp objects in it, but all had explanations and none could be traced to random happenstance. Some were intentional poisonings from family members, as horrible as that is to consider, some were pure accidents, and some deaths were mistakenly attributed to the candy. Number 4. Virus-Tainted Cadbury Products Stories of people contaminating food with HIV-positive blood have been circulating for many years. You've tested positive for HIV, uh, which is the virus that causes AIDS. Yet another story popped up in 2018 claiming that a Cadbury employee had, quote, added his HIV-infected blood to the products. However, there was absolutely no truth to the story. There were no documented arrests, no issued warnings, and no investigations whatsoever. In other words, it was pure internet fakery. Further, so Cadbury verifies the post is false. And if they say if you have any questions for the company, call their customer service line at 855-535-5648. And even if the story were true, victims would likely not be infected with HIV, as the virus cannot survive for long outside the host. Yes, eating or drinking someone's blood would be horrifying, there's no doubt about that. But you wouldn't become infected. Number 3. Mutant KFC Chickens This is the best Kentucky Fried Chicken I ever had. Stories have been circulating about mutant KFC chickens for years, since Kentucky Fried Chicken officially changed their name to KFC. According to the urban legend, this is because the company could not legally use the word chicken in their name. I was gonna make that baked CD you guys like so much, but I just... I forgot about the time, and then before you know it, oh my god, it's 5 o'clock. <laughs> it's fine. Right. It's great. I love KFC. <laughs> the supposed reason they couldn't do so was because they were actually raising genetically modified mutant chickens that bore little resemblance to the natural animal. I'm sorry, this is expired. You son of a... However, KFC actually changed their name for other logistical reasons. They don't own the farms the chickens are raised on, and the word chicken is still used in their product descriptions. Like KFC themselves have stated, quote, no mutated chickens are involved in making our delicious fried chicken. It's honestly finger licking good. Number two, cockroach eggs in plastic straws. In 2010, a bizarre email was circulated claiming that plastic straws were filled with cockroach eggs. The email begins with, quote, I ordered a club sandwich and a Sprite in a restaurant somewhere, which immediately throws the story's veracity into question. After allegedly finding 1,000 cockroach eggs in their plastic straw, the storyteller found straw eggs, quote, in almost all the restaurants and fast food chains that they had gone to. But it's true, and you need to hear the truth, okay? Okay. Cal, would you take that straw out of your mouth, please? It certainly makes for a disgusting story, considering how much of humanity is repulsed by cockroaches and our collective fear of contaminated food. Very few insects are more detested than the cockroach. Even the word itself can be an insult. Hey, you cockroach, get out of here. But the story doesn't make a lick of sense, fortunately. With many of its supposed details, including the years of when it happened versus when it was reported, and how cockroaches actually lay eggs being incorrect. So how many of those did you believe at one point? I definitely thought the KFC one was true. Although I did once find a feather on a piece of chicken, so I guess that's almost a good sign because at least it's actually a chicken. Anyway, there's one iconic myth we've probably all been hearing about since we were kids. So let's look at some honorable or dishonorable mentions and then we'll see our scariest food urban legend. Tim Horton's coffee contains nicotine. Don't worry, your morning Joe is nicotine free and delicious. It's nice and simple. Give that a try, let me know what you think. It's good. This is by far one of the best lattes I've tasted. Bubble Yum contains spider eggs. No spiders were harmed in the blowing of this bubble. Both are known for blast. Put it on the 
long as the yum is the fun that never blows out. Big mouth bust and bubble yum. Keeps it popping. Earthworms are used as filler in McDonald's burgers. Ew, it's beef, not worms. For savory, sizzling, unexpected flavors. Well, you can find it at McDonald's. Deep fried rat headed Popeyes. It was probably just organ meat, and a health inspection found no evidence of vermin. Now, what is that? What's that? That ain't right. Grade D but edible meat. There is no such thing as a grade D but edible classification. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, pop rocks and soda can kill you. Pop rocks! Oh, wow! If the internet is to be believed, some easily accessible candies are death traps in waiting. No. Two Brazilian children did not die after ingesting Mentos and Coke. And no, combining Pop Rocks with soda will not cause your stomach to explode. This rumor began circulating ages ago, and it was even believed that this so-called lethal combination killed child actor John Gilchrist. He won't need it. He hates everything. He likes it. Hey, Mikey! The urban legend grew so pronounced that General Foods launched an extensive campaign proving it wasn't true. His campaign included full-page ads in various publications and letters to concerned parents and school principals. And if that wasn't enough, the Mythbusters also proved it is nothing but a myth. So there. Even with time for digestion, the Pop Rocks and Soda just don't produce enough gas. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.